Sorry. I didn't realize it had gone dark. Please, I'll be here soon. Right. Well, I've just come back to get Bertie's hat. Picking him up from a play date, and it's got really, really cold outside. Have you decided what you're going to say to the police? I don't know. Wait, you don't know what you're going to say, or you don't know who attacked you? I don't know what I'm going to say. Please don't tell them that it was Peter. Even though I think he did it. But you don't know that. Innocent until proven guilty. He didn't do it, I'm sure of it. You know, I'm kind of sick of people trying to tell me who did or didn't try and kill me. Why, who else has been speaking to you? <sighs> Nobody. I'm sorry, okay? But you didn't see who did it, so you can't just say that it was Peter. It had to be him. Don't tell the police that, please. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. I'll be then. He's ill. He's ill? He's in hospital. He's got internal bleeding because of his drinking. They think that he might have liver failure. He made me promise not to tell anyone, but if you're going to go and tell them that you think that it was him, well, that'll push him to drink and, and he could die. I mean, he would die. So what if he's guilty? He just gets away with it. Yeah. You're right, Adam. If he's guilty, he should go to prison, where he can die alone in a cell. You do that, Adam. You do that. I'm pleased to see you have hospital and on the mend, Mr. Barlow. Do you think you're able to talk about your attack? Yeah. OK, so in your own time, just talk me through the events of that night and, and specifically the last thing you can remember. Let's cut to the chair, shall we? And talk about who tried to kill me. You think you know who attacked you? Yeah. I think it was, um... Gary Vendas. <laughs>